Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nick Price, and today I'm going to be going over my business idea and the structures of business in Nova Scotia. In Nova Scotia, there are four different business structures you can use. The first and most simple one is sole proprietorship. Owned by just a single person, they are in full control of the aspects of the business, like decision making, profit, and liabilities. For example, Judy's used clothing. They sell used clothing, make a profit, and it is only run by Judy herself. The second structure is a partnership with two or more individuals. They have a legal agreement to split profits, share liabilities, taxation, and dispute resolution. An example of a partnership structure is Loud Lifestyle Clothing. The partners all need to abide by these legal agreements. The third structure is a corporation. A corporation is separate from the owners having shareholders. They have limited liability where the shareholders' assets aren't liabilities, but the amount that they have invested into the company is. Like partnerships, they have profit distribution, but based on how much work the partner has done. An example of corporate structures is Strategic Distribution Canada. They have shareholders and need to file corporate tax files and pay off their profits. The last structure is cooperative. This is business owned by members for mutual benefits. Like partnerships, they have profit distributions, but based on how much work the partner has done. They have member liabilities where there is limited liability. Another responsibility they have is demographic governance, where the members have an equal vote in business decisions. An example is Shetty Camp Co-op Fish Plant, a member of the local fishers who sell products to retailers, profit they make is split by who catches the most product. The fishers are not responsible for any company debts, only the shares they have. The business idea I had with one of my friends was to start our own online clothing store. The business structure I would choose for my online clothing store would be a partnership as I would like to start a business with my friend. Being in a partnership, we would both be able to invest equal amounts in the business. We would also be able to deal with budgeting and marketing together, which would take a lot of stress off doing it solely. We would both be responsible for decision making and would have fully shared responsibility of the store. With a partnership, we would have more assets and li as liabilities. That way, we would be able to get a good loan if needed down the line. Some issues with a partnership means that any liabilities could come right off of our assets and there could be conflict. There's also some problems with splitting of the profits. For example, if one partner thinks that they have done more work than the other one, even though there is a legal agreement. In this case, it would be unlikely as my partner would be my good friend and I've known them for years and would trust that we would both understand the agreements and both want the best for the company. I'd like to thank you all for listening to my presentation today. It was a little bit choppy in some areas. I don't really know how to work this whole video thing. Not sure how to edit it. Adobe was better. Um, thank you.